everyone. Today I'm going to talk about relative clauses, who and that. Uh, first of all, what is a relative clause? Relative clauses give us information about the person or thing mentioned. Defining relative clauses give us essential information, information that tells us who or what we are talking about. Imagine that you are at a party and your friend John is dancing with a girl and you don't know who that girl is and you want to ask your friend next to you, do you know the girl? And your friend asks, which girl? Because there are so many girls at the party. You say, do you know the girl? Who is dancing with John? So you are modifying the girl. You are giving information. You are defining the girl. You are modifying, modifying the girl. We can use who or that for definitions. For example, a waiter is a person. He serves customers in a restaurant. So we can use a relative pronoun here. We can say that a waiter is the person who or that serves customers in a restaurant. Who and that have the same meaning, but that is more informal. A seaman is someone, he works on a ship. So we can combine these two sentences saying a seaman is someone who or that works on a ship. The relative pronoun can be the subject of the sentence. The people who or that live in this neighborhood are very friendly. So the subject of this sentence is not the people. The people who or that live in this neighborhood. So this part, this blue part is the subject. R is the verb here. The man who or that knocked on the door was my brother. So this blue part is the subject of the sentence. Relative pronoun can be the object of the sentence. For example, the police arrested. So the subject is the police, arrested verb, simple past. The man who or that robbed the bank. So this part is the object of the sentence. Emily has met a man who or that is a chef at a small restaurant in Paris. So Emily is the subject, has met, verb, and this part is the object of the sentence. Let's do a few exercises. The woman is Jane's mother. She is wearing a red jumper. So these, there are two sentences here. We are going to combine them and we are going to use a uh, relative pronoun. The women, so the women and she. So we should modify the women. We should talk about the women. What can we say? The women, okay, after the noun, we should use a relative pronoun. The women who are that is wearing a red jumper is Jane's mother. The man gave me the money. He was young. So we should talk about the man. We should modify the man. The man who or that gave me the money was young. So we don't use he again here because instead of he, we are using who and that. The girl had a serious injury. She was taken to hospital immediately. So we, we are going to modify the girl. So the girl and she. The girl who or that had a serious injury was taken to hospital immediately. That's all for today. Thank you for listening. Please don't 